What is up, my fellow friends and hopheads as well? How's everyone doing today? How are you doing today? Terrible. Okay, yeah, same, me too. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. But anyways, today we've got something special once again for you. Remember that video that we did? The first Hellboy, the uh, Indigo Pale Ale? Well, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But if you have seen it, we got a part two for you. This time, it's a cranberry sour. So let's see if it's any better than the last one. Alrighty guys, so once again, welcome back to the next episode of True Skis, Brew Skis. We're back on the craft beer train. See, I told you they'd come back. Don't you worry, we're not, we're not going to stay away for very long. We just, we, we're just getting started here on this channel. But anyways, uh, like I said, uh, the very first video we did from this company, Gigantic Brewing, uh, in the Hellboy series was Hellboy Ape Sapien. Now that was an indigo pale ale, uh, which boasted that it was bursting with citrus and berry flavors. And um, as we discovered, sadly, that wasn't quite the case. It was pretty citrusy, but on the berry side, it was... Uh, not so good. Thumbs down. Thumbs down, yeah. It was a uh, solid pale ale, but way too hyped up. But I'm actually pretty excited about this yeah. one, not just because of the bottle, but because it's a sour. Yeah, sours are pretty, <laughs> like one of my favorite types of beers. Same here, honestly. Um, and not to mention it's cranberry. I've never actually seen, I don't think I've ever had a cranberry sour before. Yeah, so this is going to be a new one for both of us. A new one for both of us, yeah. Not, and um, honestly, I feel like sours. I mean, I really hope that they didn't mess this up. I really, really hope that they didn't. Um, or at least, not that the last one was messed up, but it just wasn't that great. But anyways, let's stop the rambling and get on with some facts about it. Uh, once again, this um, is called Blood Queen. It's the same, uh, same series as the other one, the Hellboy series from Gigantic Brewing. This is a cranberry yuzu, or yuzu sour. I don't know what yuzu is. Um, if we uh, look it up, we will let you know what it actually is. But the description says, Beware of what you ask. Let the queen of blood arise in this bewitching combination of cranberry and yuzu citrus. So yuzu, I'm guessing, is a fruit then. So I guess that kind of answers our question. Never heard of a yuzu, um, but uh, we're going to see what it's all about. I actually like this bottle a little bit more than the last one, too. Yeah, it looks so cool. Probably the design a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if it's red, because the other one was <laughs> right, exactly. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. The last one was blue. Uh, maybe this one will be red. Well, there's only one way to find out about that. Let us uh, crack it open and see for sure. Da -da -da. Dun -dun. That's the magic keys with the magic bottle opener slash shotgun tool. Oh yeah. Full send. Mm -hmm. Full send. All right. That bad boy's cracked up. It is cracked. Now let us do the pouring. Please be red. I really hope it is, or at least some shade of red. Oh, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> well, well, well kind of has a little tinge to it. <laughs> has a reddish kind of tinge. Very slight, though. Slight. But you know what? The color isn't everything. So let's actually uh, delve a little bit deeper and see what lies beneath this cranberry yuzu sour. Alrighty, so first and foremost, Let's see the color profile and how it looks when held up to the light. Uh, Color-wise, um, kind of an orangey, golden-y kind of color um, with, like you said, almost a, kind of a slight reddish tint to it. Not, not massive amounts of red, but um, kind of. Um, very carbonated, I will say that. Very, very carbonated. Uh, there's a lot of bubbles on the side of the glass there, uh, which I guessing is something to do with it being a sour. It's like, oh mine, you broke the carbonation so it's not as carbonated. Yeah, oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> like here. Um, but yeah, it is uh, fairly translucent. It's got a bit of haziness to it. Not a lot. You can still see through it, um, but not all the way, I'd say. Yeah, now, I don't know if that's just the murkiness. If it's like, uh, it has anything to do with the, uh, do, like the condensation on the glass. I don't think so. I do think it is a bit hazy. That's slightly hazy. It has a little clearness to it, but slightly hazy. But yeah, uh, as far as color, that's what we're seeing. Now let's get on to segment two, which is tasting. My favorite. 
All right, it is the time which we have been waiting for. The tasting segment. I think it's both of our favorites. Let us get on to it. Please, fingers crossed, be better. Actually, smell slash taste, I should say. Yeah. Um, be better than the last one. Smell? Smell like cranberry. Smell, yeah. And it does uh, definitely a nice sour tinge. I don't know if it smells like yuzu, because once again, I don't know what a yuzu, oh, I don't know what a yuzu is. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. Cheers. I'm guessing that foremost taste is yuzu. Yeah, because I don't know what Because I don't recognize that taste, and it's definitely not cranberry. No, I taste cranberry at first, and then that second, oh my. Like, what the fuck yuzu is? Now. I'd say. Right off the bat, it's way more flavorful than the last one was. I mean, we're comparing apples to oranges here because the other one was an indigo pale ale. This is a sour, but um, my biggest grievance, like, it tastes good. I mean, if it's a, whatever, I'm guessing, like I said, yuzu, um, it tastes good. My biggest grievance about it is it's not really sour. No. Like, okay, I understand that not all sours are, like, lit pucker sour, and they really shouldn't be, but it's not even, like, a tad bit, like, tart. No, it tastes more like... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it tastes like yeah, exactly. It tastes like a flavored like lager or something like I don't know. It, like I said, most sours that I've had in my experience, at least, have been at least tart. Um, this really isn't even that. You know, well, a bite, a very slight bite of sour right at the beginning, and then it goes away. I like sours that are kind of tart and sour throughout the whole thing. And then you leave you with that. <laughs> yeah, flavor-wise, it's good. It's good, but it does not have that sourness. Yeah, and that's, I don't know, I feel like that kind of takes away from the whole thing. If it were tart, at least, this yeah. would be so much better. Maybe it's that uvu fruit. That's yeah, whatever. Because <laughs> cranberry is tart. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's what, that's what I was really hoping for, is because, you know, cranberry by itself is tart, even just cranberry juice is very tart and full of, like, you know, kind of sour flavor. And I was really hoping for that with this. I don't know if... They added too much yuzu, or what I think the yuzu. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna look that up. Education time. What is yuzu? Here's some information. Yuzu is a citrus fruit and plant in the family of the Ruta. Ruta K is believed to have originated in central China as a hybrid of a Mandarin origin in the ancient Papinina. I don't know what that is. So. It's a hybrid of, of, of a orange. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, in that case, I mean... That's why it's like citrusy. It's like, it's mellow. Yeah, I can see that. I can, it, it's kind of orange, but it's not, which kind of makes sense if it's a hybrid. Um, but yeah, I don't... I was... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of let down by this. Yeah. Um, it's more flavorful than the last, but it's not... I don't know, it's just not that great of a sour in my opinion because it's missing the key element of being sour and being tart. Um, and even with like it being orange slash, you know, flavor, I don't know, because even sometimes oranges can be sour. You know, orange can be tart as well. Yeah, so, um, I don't know, man. I Better than the last one, but still not very good. I'm let down once again. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if it's just the hype of the bottle or just... But I was really holding out hope because I love sours, I like cranberry, and I was really hoping for just a nice smack you in the face tart flavor, and it wasn't delivered, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get on to the last and final segment of rating this bad boy, shall we? Alrighty, fat. I don't know what I was about to say. Um, Alright, so, final segment here. Um, ratings. Out of 10, what do we give this? Um, I'll let you go first. Give your final rating, one through ten. I give it a six. And I give it a six because it's it's decent, but it, like it, it's better than the last one. I give it that. It's 100% better than the last one. 
but it's missing that tart bite of uh, traditional sour or Berliner Weiss. That, it's just missing that. Yeah, oh, exactly. Also, it's just missing that little bite. But it has still a very good flavor. It's better than the other uh, Indigo Sabian, which said blueberries. At least you, this one, you can taste the cranberry in it. <laughs> I'm like the right, other one. and you can taste the yuzu. Yeah, which yuzu. I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming <laughs> what yuzu tastes like. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but yeah, six out of ten. Okay, um, that's actually pretty close to what I was gonna say. Um, actually, no, I think. Well, I'm gonna have to give it a five and a half. Because it, flavor-wise, it tastes good. Number one, I wish it had more cranberry. That's what I was really hoping for, because with cranberry being like the first ingredient on this, like, you know, it says cranberry yuzu sour. I was really hoping, because cranberry, it, even by itself, cranberry is a very bold, like, the strong flavor. So I was really hoping that it was gonna have a lot of cranberry and then like a little bit of yuzu or whatever the hell it is. Um, so I was really hoping for a lot of cranberry, and I don't know, it, maybe that's just my kind of personal pet peeve with this beer, I, maybe it's just something personal. Um, but yeah, again, the same thing that you said, number two, it just doesn't have that sour bite to it. Um, it and that's like the biggest thing I feel like it's missing. If it had that, I would probably easily give this a, probably, I would probably even raise it up to like seven. I would think it just it doesn't deliver on the sour front, and that's really what I was hoping for. Because with being a sour, obviously that's what you expect. Um, so yeah, five and a half is really all I can give this. Unfortunately, um, was that lower than the other one, or were we still on the old scale for that? Still old scale, I believe. For that one. So it was yeah, no. probably about the same. <laughs> if we justify it to the new scale, multiply everything by two. Yeah. Multiply um, by two. Yeah, not not bad tasting. It tastes good. But yeah, just it's not really even sour at all. It's just kind of it's it's surprisingly mellow for a, a sour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. That is Blood Queen Cranberry Yuzu Sour by Gigantic Brewing. Unfortunately, another letdown in this series of uh, Hellboy uh, bottles. I don't know that I'm gonna really get any. If I have the opportunity, I don't know that I'm gonna get any more of these unless it just really like blows my socks off with the description because um, yeah I don't know the, the first one was a letdown this one's been a letdown um, so like maybe third time might be the charm third time one more. I might yeah if I get the opportunity uh, maybe I'll give it a third go but if that one's bad too then yeah I'm not getting it anymore yeah, we're done. maybe your other beer's great I don't know I've never yeah. had anything else from you guys but um, yeah unfortunately this one just didn't hit home with me I don't think it really hit home with you either nah. Well, anyways, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Try to condense it down a little bit for you instead of dragging, talking about stuff that doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on things you want us to review or videos you want us to do, we actually have a couple of ideas. We just came up with a new one, but we're not going to share it because that would be a spoiler. You're just going to have to stay tuned and find out. Here's a hint. It involves New Year's, though. Um, so if that doesn't amp you up, I don't know what does. Um, but, yeah. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Click on the little bell right next to it for notifications whenever we crack open a new brew. There's going to be more videos coming very soon, more craft beer, more stuff outside of craft beer. Um, just stay tuned. Hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Tell your friends about the channel. Uh, let us know what you're drinking on tonight in the comments below. And we'll see you on the next episode. Cheers to a new week. And we'll see you in the next episode. Drewski's Brewski's out.